I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to sketch graph of a transform trigonometric function. The function given to us is f of x equals to 2 times sine half x minus pi by 4 plus 1. Now we should actually factor this half so that we know exactly what is the horizontal translation. So let me write down this function again after factoring. So we get f of x as 2 times sine of half x. When you factor half out, you have to multiply by 2. So you get minus pi by 2 here plus 1. Now if you have a doubt, you should actually expand and check. When you multiply half by x, you get half x. When you multiply half by minus pi by 2, you get pi by 4. So that is perfect, right? Now from here, you can see that k is equals to half, which is the horizontal compression. Uh, actually the stretch by a factor of 2. Now that gives you time period. Time period should be equals to 2 pi by k which in this case will be 2 pi by half I mean half which is 4 pi right. So 4 pi is the time period for the sine function. x is, is at x equals to 1. Amplitude a is Two. So, so these are the different values which you can get from here itself and they will help us to sketch. Now let us see how to sketch this kind of a function, right? So first step is your axis is 1, so draw a dotted line at 1. So that is my axis at 1. I'm just giving you very simple steps to sketch this function. I'm not doing exact graph for this. Maximum value should be 2 more than 1 since that is the amplitude right so so I will have let's say this is 2 more than 1 so I'm having a dotted line here saying that my graph will have maximum here and minimum will be 2 less than uh, this medium value the axis sine function has started from pi by 4 to the right so I will what I will do is I will sketch it in two parts first I will do without the horizontal translation and then I will apply the horizontal translation okay that's one way of doing it I could do directly also but uh, let me do in two steps for the time being so I'll use a light color to begin with we have a sine function so sine function should be like this that is one sine wave of course it continues okay now since we know that that is kind of our scale this is one we know this is the starting point let's say this is my y-axis okay now here we have one this value is one plus two as three one minus two as minus one so my x-axis is is here zero value is here right so let me just draw here you get it now time period for this particular function is 4 pi do you see that 4 pi so that means if you are starting this is zero so this has to be ending at 4 pi so let me write 4 pi right there if this is 4 pi this point center value will be 2 pi and these will be pi correct and that will be 3 pi that is how the graph is. What we have to do is shift the function by pi by 2 to the right. So that is that is the shift. So right horizontal right translation by pi by 2. Now this is pi that means pi by 2 is this much. So that much unit we have to shift from all. So let me use a different ink to show you how to get the final value. So this point will come here, this point will go pi by 2, right? So it shifts here, this point will be shifted here, that point will be shifted there, right? And the minimum value also shifts to a pi by 2. So we get our transformed function, I mean, okay, oh my god, I mean this one, right? So that is how we'll get our graph. It's not so good, but anyway, I, I hope you understand. So it is kind of like this. Let me redo it. Okay. So that is how it is going to be. So it will end 
add pi by 2 more than 4 pi okay so more than 4 pi pi by 2 means 8 plus 1 9 pi by 2 is it okay so it ends at 9 pi by 2 and begins at pi by 2 for one period so that is how you can actually graph it I hope the steps are clear and they help you to sketch neat uh, graphs very easily right you could also make a table of values start with the critical values for example in a sine function the critical values which we look into are 0 let me write down here 0 and 0 to start with and then we look for pi by 2 it is 1 at pi it is 0 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and at 2 pi it is again 0 so these are the normal values right so these are the x and y values on sine x these are on sine x now in our case we had a transformation so x points will get multiplied by 2 so we'll have 2 times x and they will get subtract means plus pi by 2 so that is how the x values will change as far as the y values are concerned they will be divided by 2 so we have half of y and plus 1 so that is how the y values will change so what you can do is you can start with the key values right this is using the key values let me push it and 0 if you put here you get pi by 2 to start with so you get pi by 2 replacing x with 0 and replacing y with 0 you get 1 right so at pi by 2 you have 1 so that is how you get the first point and then you can replace this x by pi by 2 and get the next point which will be this right so likewise you can fill this table and apply those uh, transformations to those original points get the points on the graph and sketch your function so that is an alternate method so I like you to complete this table and check with your answer do you get those points or not right there will be a good exercise for you I hope that helps and both methods are good enough to sketch graphs I prefer these points when really the situation is complicated as we are dealing with here I hope that helps thank you and all the best